Alright guys, Phoenician Gauntlet, Grand Finals, Jared versus Figs, Game 1. Let's see what both players decide to pick for their starting decks. Um, I think that if I'm Jared, I probably, hmm, it's a bit risky, like, I think with Figs it's a pretty easy choice, you probably just pick Sirius or Elevagon. With Jared, though, I think it's a bit trickier. I don't know if I'd want to lead off of Sirius. Uh, well, I think that it's a possibility that Jared Sirius is going to have to fight Figs, Sirius, and Aldegon at some point. So, I feel like both of these players are probably just going to lead with their aggro decks. I think that's probably what I would do if I was in both of their positions. We'll see what they decide, though. I missed who won the die roll because I was busy talking. They die roll. Um, they did, and Figs won the die roll. And Figs, well, they both just decided to do exactly the opposite of what I thought they would. <laughs> Figs leads off of Alm. Jared leads off of Ike. I think that this is a favorable matchup for Figs, but Ike, you know, while he has many poor matchups, very few of them are actually unwinnable. So Jared is certainly capable of winning this game. We will see what happens. Jared playing an Alincia 1 with the intent of milling his deck as much as possible. He wants to get those Ikes in his retreat so he can growth them with Micaiah later on. Um, passes the turn to Figs. See if Figs has anything. Like, if he has a Fae, maybe he could deploy to buff his MC. Although, I don't think it'll matter too much in this matchup, especially since that... Um, if he were to play Faye here, then Jared could promote it to 3-2 Ike, game 1-2 range, his 3-2 Ike gains 1-2 range on the turn that you level up into him and then attack the Faye in the back row. So yeah, sure enough, Figs just decides to clash change and attack, um, recognizing that evades aren't exactly the most valuable resource of this matchup. Figures you might as well sacrifice an evade to cycle an evade, really, he's not sacrificing. I, I guess he is technically sacrificing it. He's basically discarding an evade to draw a card, essentially, is what he's doing here. Um, does he have his promo? He does have his promo. Um, yeah, sure enough, Jared did have the 3-2 Ike, so if Figs had played Faye earlier. That's an unfortunate self-support for Figs. That attack is not going to connect. Um, let's see if Jared has his 4-3 Ike. Obviously, that would be a pretty big boon for him. Uh, it'd help him build up that stack early, as early as possible. It would get him up to a 4 stack of 4-3 Ike hits here, which would be quite nice because it would mean that he could go into... Um, Aetherite can start clearing Figs' backline for just one bond. But Figs is going to dodge, meaning that Jared is only at a 3 stack right now. He messes up his counter. He's at a 3 stack, so if he goes into Aetherite, he will have a 4 stack, meaning that he'll need to flip 2 bonds in order to clear Figs' back row. Uh, so if I'm Figs, I probably want to drop either a Celica or a Alyssa here. Um, we'll see what Figs decides to do. He could also, if he deploys a Celica, he could also potentially pull the Alincia 1-up to prevent her from milling. And he does neither of those things, he just drops a Fae. Uh, and that is going to hit nonetheless, because Jared only has a stack of 3, so Rebecca's a 30 support. Meanwhile, Figs gets plus 20, plus 10 from Faye's Daydream, and plus 10 from the deployment. So, it's actually 110 versus 100, it's not even a tie. Um... And it looks like Jared is going to be going for the early 5-4 Micaiah, indeed he is, but it's very nice for Jared. But at the same time, it is unlikely that that Micaiah will- Ooh, That Micaiah is definitely not staying on the board now with the Berserk Ike check! That is unfortunate for Jared. And Figs says, fuck it, I don't care about that Faye, I'm just gonna take that orb, I want the advantage. I'd much rather just let the Faye go than allow, uh, what's it called? I lost my train of thought, my bad. Then allow 4-3 Ike to grow with his on hit. I'll take that orb. And now Jared is going to lose his field. Figs does not even need to flip one to pull from Akaya to destroy it. I was about to talk about how um, Ike, like the big thing about Ike is he wins games by keeping the Micaiah on the board. Yeah, Jared took it. Uh, yeah. Forgets to growth. Luckily, Figs is kind enough to allow Jared to growth nonetheless. That's cool. Like that sportsmanship. 
at the end of the day, you're not obligated to allow them to uh, take back any misplays. If, like, if it's not something you want to do, that's totally fine. But you know. nice to see that even at this level, uh, these players are still willing to, I don't know, give each other the benefit of the doubt. I guess. Um, Figs is going to play Lissa here. Most likely just going to flip one to draw a card. He's attacking Jared. I don't know how I feel about this, although I don't know what's in Fig's retreat. The thing about uh, Fig, like this deck, Fig's Alm deck, is that the only cards he really needs in his retreat are like Alm uh, to heal with Lissa and May to heal with Alm Overclass. And if he has both of those things in his retreat, I feel like he would almost be better off just not attacking Jared because I think Jared values the mill a lot more than Figs does. Uh, it's a pretty small thing though. I'm sure Jared already has like enough Ike in his retreat to a point where it wouldn't make much of a difference anyways. Um, Jared is going to go to Aether Ike here. He's going to, since he has a 7 stack, he only needs one bond in order to Aether. He's going to clear that list off the back row. Um, let's see if Figs can deploy enough in order to stabilize the field here. It's probably not going to happen. He just doesn't have enough bonds to like deploy like a ton of mages. Um, it's unfortunate that he wasn't able to deploy that Lissa on turn 4. Then he would have been a lot better off because then he might have been able to deploy May that previous turn. And well actually I, um, I would have just aethered anyways but Figs just gonna play Celica and he's just not going to care about Jared's 80 base because Alm gets plus 10 from the unit being deployed. He becomes 80. Celica gains plus 20 since Fix has more units on board than Jared. So it's going to be two 80s into 80s, both of which will connect. Jared is sent down to one orb. Um, if I had to judge who was in a better position this game, I'd probably say it's actually kind of a tough call. I think that did he stack? Uh... Oh. Okay. He stacked a Nina. So, if he goes into 7 5 here, he's going to be an 80. That's not really going to be enough. Uh, he's probably going to need one more Micaiah deploy in order to reach the point where Figs can't really touch him. Uh... So I'd say that for the time being, Figs probably has the upper hand here. It's a fairly close game though, and Figs going to deploy the May and the Naui. Seraphim, the Nino, get her off the board. He discards a 4-3 May for that though, so I don't know how I feel about that. But he is going to f most likely flip that Naui or Celica for Fry Foes, and then grab it with Naui at the end of his turn. Um, so he'll have four cards in his hand. I think that as long as he has Alm Overclass in his hand, I think that discarding a May there was a fine idea. Uh, at the same time, I think that he probably should have fried before Seraphiming nonetheless. Like, just the general thing. You wanna see what, uh, what you draw into before you decide you wanna Seraphim something. And that's a bit unfortunate for Figs. He attacked with May in one of those previous two attacks, then it would have gone through. Uh, unfortunate ordering for figs means that oh and he decides to crit he had three maze in his hand and he's just throwing away two of them that's a bit that's definitely very brazen by figs um, now he's not optional okay Jared's Jared's telling him um, oh and he grabs a May one hmm Yeah, I hope he either has a 4th May 4 or an Alm Overclass in his hand, otherwise I don't know if that was really the right play, because that May is definitely not surviving a turn, whether it be by Aether or Clash changing into the 7-5 um, and using Ira to make the attack unavoidable. Um, I think right now Figs is still in a fairly advantaged position, but that won't last very long if Jared... Uh, manages to build a stack here. I think that uh, Jared's ideal play would be, oh, he deploys a Nino. I was going to say, I think Jared's ideal play here would be to, um, he does not have enough bonds for that. Um... 
Yeah, I feel like Jared's best play there probably, I mean, he probably doesn't have it, that's why he's not doing it. I'm not, like, saying, oh, he should have done this instead. I'm just saying, like, in an ideal world, uh, it probably would have been best for him to drop Micaiah, build his stack, clear um, Fig's back line. But at the same time, it's also a possibility that he just doesn't have any Ike in his hand, and he wants to deploy the Marcia to get more Ike in his hand. And yeah, he's going to Aether, he's going to clear Veselica and Venali. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what Figs has in his hand. Um, I feel like it would have he would have been better off grabbing the Naui instead of grabbing the um, May One there. But well, he's going to overclass. Summons a Celica. Doesn't even sell summon a May. He's gonna Ragnarok. I think right now he just values be a uh, superior attack power of Celica more so than he values the, uh, um, did he flip two? Oh yeah, he did flip two. Um, the superior attack power of Selicum, and he values the ability of made to draw cards, and Jared is going to go down to four cards in hand. Um, <clears throat> Figs keeping up the pressure, Jared I think needs to make something happen here quickly, otherwise he's just gonna end up losing the game. We'll see. Let's see if he didn't have any green in his bonds. Now he deploys that Nino that he wanted to deploy last turn. He's just gonna try and get more Ike in his hand. That's not even going to hit, although to be honest, that's probably good for Jared because he seems to be on the verge of death. He probably doesn't want to give Figs any more cards when he needs to. Nino stacks a Rebecca. Grabs an Ike, so Figs is going to want to just play a one cost to use up that Rebecca support. Hopefully, he remembers the Rebecca support. I know I've made that mistake multiple times. I see my opponent stack a Rebecca, and then I attack with like my strongest swinger, and I'm like, What the fuck? They just put Rebecca a fucking sack, and I'm like, Oh, right, they stacked that at the end of your turn. I'm just retarded. God damn it. <laughs> um, so, hopefully, Figs doesn't make that mistake. We'll see. He bonds a May 1, so. Mm. Hopefully he intends to the if, if he has another May one in his hand he oh hmm oh no he forgot that's that's bad or maybe he just plans on critting with all yeah he plans on critting with all uh and yeah, that's still definitely gonna go through he could have just played the the May one though and baited out the Rebecca that way I suppose it doesn't matter that much though that's a 100 into 100 that's gonna hit. And Jared forced to part with likely his last Ike dodge. I find that when Ike players start dodging with their seven fives, it means they don't have any other dodges in their hand. So either that one last card in his hand is another Ike seven five, or Jared is out of dodges. This could be this could be very bad for Jared. And he goes, he grabs Alincia. Looks like he's just going to go out to seven five Ike only going to be an 80 attack unit. He's just going to have to pick a god and pray that Figs doesn't have an answer. Oh, and he just goes for another Aetherite. He just wants to draw a card. That's all he's interested in. He hopes that he draws an Ike of Aid. He's going to clear that Celica. Um, Figs retreat just went in though, so he doesn't need to worry about not being able to summon that Celica back. Uh, attacks with Valencia. Nothing. Let's see what Figs has cooking in his hand. It does not take very much for Figs to win this game. One crit is all it takes. If he has a dodge, then he needs two crits. Still very feasible with a five card hand. Um, he also needs Jared to not Miracle Emblem, but Jared only has one Miracle Emblem anyways. He plays Alyssa. Uh, he cannot use Alyssa's skill due to not having any orbs and he clash changes into hmm that might have been a misplay because he would have gained power oh and a Rebecca support but it doesn't matter he's gonna crit does Jared have an Ike in his hand he does 
but Lissa is going to be a 90. And that is going to be the game. Figs, with a 1-0 lead over Jared, takes the first game of the set. That being said, he has quite an uphill battle ahead of himself. As I said in my pregame analysis, Alm was probably Figs' like, best deck going into this set. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder for him to get wins with Sirius and Eldegon. Let's see if he can pull it off, or if Jared will just take advantage of having good matchups versus aggro and use that to win the second game. Let's see.